I've met doctors who laughed when I said I reversed my biological age, but then I showed them my lab results. Their laughter always dies down and silence fills the room before they ask, well, how do you do that? Look, you don't have to believe in longevity or anti-aging to get the benefits from it. What if you just got higher energy levels, a better brain, or a body that doesn't ache every day? Those are just some of what you can experience if you have a longevity practice. Today, I wanna to share what I do in eight easy steps based on writing a New York Times best-selling longevity book and 25 years in the field of longevity. Step one is to improve your gut health. When I say the term gut, you might think it's about digesting your food, but your gut isn't just about food digestion. It's the command center for your immune system, for your brain health, and even how fast you age. Let me break it down for you. As you get older, the balance of bacteria in your gut shifts. The good guys, the beneficial microbes, they start to decline and the bad ones take over. That imbalance is called gut dysbiosis, and it's a cause of chronic inflammation that weakens your immune system, and inflammation impacts your biological age. A study published in Nature Metabolism, one of the most respected journals in metabolism and longevity, looked at the gut microbiomes in over 9,000 people and found that older adults with more diverse gut bacteria lived longer and were healthier. In fact, beneficial gut metabolites are directly linked to a longer lifespan, and you can predict someone's age by the diversity of their microbiome. So how do you fix your gut? The key is to feed your gut the right food. And I'm not talking about generic eat a balanced diet advice because no one even knows what that is. You need prebiotics, which are compounds that feed the good bacteria in your gut so they can keep your gut healthy. You can get prebiotics from foods like asparagus, green bananas, and white rice that has been cooked and cooled. You can also take a prebiotic fiber supplement in the form of acacia fiber or acacia gum. Acacia gum just comes from tree sap and it turns out good gut bacteria love it. The best approach is to pair prebiotics with the right probiotics, which involves adding more of the good bacteria into your gut. But not all probiotics work the same. The ones I take contain specific strains to help restore gut balance, or even add special powers to what my gut can do. So you can fix your gut, you can fix your energy, you can fix your immunity, and most importantly, you can slow down aging from the inside out. The second step, pay attention to your sleep. It's not about how much you sleep, it's much more about how deeply you sleep and when you sleep. During deep sleep, you release growth hormone, which is critical for regenerating your cells and your whole body. That plays an important role in repairing tissues, supporting muscle growth, and maintaining youthful skin. Without that quality of sleep, your growth hormone production declines a lot. That means you don't recover as well, and you accelerate the signs of aging. Let me be straightforward here. The lower the quality of your sleep, the faster you age. The later you go to bed at night, the faster you age. So here's a few things you can do to fix your sleep. Hack number one is to cool your room. I usually cool my space down to somewhere between 60 degrees and 67 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 15 to 19 centigrade. And that's best for deep sleep. Hack number two is to filter out artificial light after the sun goes down. White LED lights and screens make blue, violet, green, and amber spectrums that ruin your sleep because they throw off your circadian rhythm. When you have those lights, even relatively dim, your body thinks it's daytime. So I use special glasses that filter out all of the wavelengths of light that can wreck your sleep. They're made by my company, True Dark. I also have dim red night lights on my house so that if I need to get up in the middle of the night, I can see without ruining my sleep. Hack number three is the 6.5 hour sleep revolution. A study from the University of California, San Diego, found that people who sleep 6.5 hours per night live longer than people who need eight hours a night or people who get less than four hours a night. What does that mean? It means that healthy people need less sleep. That study found that there isn't a reason to sleep longer than 6.5 hours unless your body needs more sleep. That means become healthier and you'll need less sleep. This has happened to me. Since the study shows that six and a half hours is the peak for longevity, does that mean you should reduce your sleep? It doesn't. It means that you should change your health and your biology so that your body only wants six and a half hours of sleep and you wake up without an alarm fully refreshed. My average sleep over the last 10 plus years 
six hours and 32 minutes. Not because I made it that way, because my body makes it that way because of all the biohacking. This study and two other major studies challenge the common belief that more sleep is always better. Just like more exercise is not always better. Well, more dieting isn't always better. Sometimes getting the right amount and the right type is more important than the total volume. Step three for longevity is stress management. Stress is one of the biggest accelerators of aging, and if you don't control stress, it controls you. Problem is, some stress is good and some is bad, but chronic constant stress, that's gonna make your body overproduce cortisol. Cortisol has a direct impact on your aging processes. It's a hormone that breaks down collagen, it weakens your immune system, increases inflammation, and those are all linked to faster aging. So how do you manage stress? Well, the best thing you could do is go live in a cave. Okay, maybe not. You could though do yoga, you could learn how to meditate, you could go outside even for just a few minutes and get sunlight and look at a tree, get off the internet for a little while. Any centering practice, you could even read Heavily Meditated in my new book. But the simplest thing you could do is to remove the things that cause the most stress. That's easier said than done, but it's worth starting the process to identify and remove stressors from your life or to make yourself more resilient so that the stressors don't bother you anymore. That's meditation. Step four to living longer is taking supplements. Some people will say, but I wanna get all my nutrients from food. That's great, then get all of your toxins from mother nature. Oh wait, the world's full of toxins. In order for your body to live a long time and be resilient, you've gotta make your body adapt to the world that we've created for ourselves. Plus, modern food doesn't have the nutrients that our ancestors got in their food because our soil is depleted. That is why high quality supplements are absolutely critical if you wanna slow or reverse aging or just be healthy. That's why I only use quality bioavailable supplements that actually reach the cells and do their job. Some supplements you can buy, well, in hospitals, they call them bedpan bullets because they go through you without even breaking down. The two most important foundational stacks for longevity for me are vitamin Dake and Minerals 101. And that's because minerals power every chemical reaction that goes on in your body. And vitamin Dake, that's vitamin D-A-K-E, is a blend of fat soluble vitamins that work together to drive minerals to the right places inside your cells. And when you take the combination of vitamin Dake and Minerals 101, your body now has the ability to make stronger bones, to build muscle, to have a working immune system, and even to have working neurotransmitters. Your body's enzymes are based on minerals. And if you don't have minerals in your food, you're eating foods that stop you from absorbing minerals, it's no wonder you're aging more quickly. Plus, modern diets and environmental toxins strip away those minerals, and that's why supplementation is non-negotiable. Step five for longevity is high intensity interval training. Most people think exercise is about looking fit or just doing a lot of exercise to get results, but the reality is that Exercise is a powerful longevity tool, especially high intensity interval training, but not too much of it. Spending hours on the treadmill won't reverse aging. In fact, it'll make it worse. Instead, I use a science-backed combination of strength training, not too much, high intensity interval training, and mobility work to keep my body biologically young in a very small amount of time. Strength training preserves lean muscle mass, and that naturally declines as you age. High intensity interval training sessions improve your cardiovascular health and they make your mitochondria work better. It gives you more energy and more energy means less aging. My favorite is a form of high intensity training called Rehit, and I do this on an AI powered bike at Upgrade Labs. Upgrade Labs is a franchise company I founded 10 years ago, opening locations across the US and Canada. Rehit takes about 15 minutes per week and it gives you drastic results to increase your cardiovascular performance. In fact, this bike is proven to improve your VO2 max by 12% in just eight weeks, compared to 2% improvement from exercising an hour a day doing cardio. That's good news because VO2 max is a good predictor of longevity, and it takes as much time as you spend brushing your teeth every week. Step six for longevity is to use hot and cold therapy. This type of training is big in helping you reverse your biological age. Heat exposure is technically called thermotherapy and cold exposure is called cryotherapy. 
And they're both effective to trigger cellular repair, but they do it by different mechanism and stacking them together is even more powerful. Cold showers or ice baths activate brown fat, which is a special kind of fat that generates heat and increases your metabolism. And more importantly, cold exposure stimulates a compound called PGC1-alpha, which tells your body to make more efficient mitochondria. By the way, exercise also makes PGC1-alpha, so you get to choose cold exposure or exercise, or maybe both. Meanwhile, heat exposure causes heat shock proteins to form, and that helps your body repair damaged cells. And when you stack these together, well, that's what your ancestors had, and that helps you build a stronger, more resilient body, and going back and forth, back and forth, radically increases growth hormone. Step seven for longevity is reducing toxins. You can't reverse aging if your body is constantly bombarded with toxins. I'm talking about man-made toxins from processed foods, from alcohol, from environmental chemicals, or even mother nature's toxins from certain types of plants that you can eat, but those things cause inflammation instead of making it better. And as you know, inflammation speeds up aging. That's why I got rid of processed junk, seed oils, artificial sweeteners, artificial flavors, and even fragrances, because all of those can mess up your mitochondrial function. Instead, I focus on low toxin foods that support longevity. Notice I didn't say whole foods, because sometimes removing the part of the food that is most toxic supports longevity. For instance, whole grains are not as good for you as the inner part of the grain that just has carbohydrate. Stripping out toxins that come from Mother Nature or come from the chemical supply chain, you gotta do both. Those toxins, they're not just in your food, they're everywhere. Your skincare products, your household products, even the water you drink can have heavy metals and microplastics that build up in your body over time. That's why for 25 years, I've been filtering my water. I've been using non-toxic skincare with ingredients that I could eat if I wanted to. And I use household products that contain no harmful endocrine disruptors or fragrances. And when you do those simple things, it minimizes your exposure. And you should do the same if you're serious about having more energy and performing well right now, and maybe not getting old. And finally, step eight for longevity is to push your limits of longevity. Behind diets and lifestyle, there are some advanced methods that take a little extra effort, but they give you an edge over your biology. Take red light therapy, for example. This works by delivering specific wavelengths of light that penetrate deep into your skin and tissues. Those wavelengths are typically between 600 and 1,000 nanometers. The mitochondria in your cells will directly absorb wavelengths of light from red and infrared frequencies, and it makes them work better. When your mitochondria work better, they make more electricity, they make more heat, and they do more things for your body. Meanwhile, you can also add NAD plus boosters like NMN or NR as supplements to support cellular repair and to help your body maintain DNA. That helps you feel and function like a younger version of yourself, and if you're younger, it just makes you a more powerful version of yourself. Longevity is less about luck. It's not about wishing. It's not about trying. It's about having a strategy and measuring that it works. This is the exact strategy I've been using to reverse my biological age, and now it's yours.